Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part of the Turok Enhanced Playthrough. Uh, the next level is level 2, the jungle. And I'm just going to jump right in and start this up. Um, I'm actually going to try and see if I can get the the Turok, the, the enemies could actually attack each other if, uh, if they hit each other. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill this first dinosaur and maybe the second one. And I'm gonna see if I can stand in the path. Yeah, I got him to shoot the dinosaur. And I'm actually getting the dinosaur to do my work for me. Um, the enemies actually will attack each other if they um if they yeah, if they shoot each other. And this first part of the level is a bit of a it can kind of look back on itself and there's there was a comment that said that this game is a little disorientating. And I definitely felt that way when I was a kid when I was first playing this through. And it's because uh, there's so many things in the first uh, part of this level where you just don't know how to get to them. Like, okay, so I want to just jump over here to cut out quite a lot of work and uh, get the first um, hidden part of it. And it's just these little uh, triangles up here. This, that's pretty obvious, actually. You will be able to work that out. But the not-so-obvious one is uh, a grass, one of the vines that you climb up that you might not know is there, so there's this little um, jumping part and that part right there that I just jumped over, you wouldn't think it but if you curve around the corner there's actually this little hidden platform and that's what gets us uh, over there um, yeah, because we've seen that earlier but you wouldn't have known how to get there I'm not actually going to climb up there because there's nothing really um, too interesting for me to get so I'm just going to jump back over um, but there was, a, there was a comment to say that uh, Someone who was new to this game felt quite disoriented at Wild Planet, and I felt that way too, especially once I got to this level. Here, um, I just jumped up whenever I was a kid playing this. I jumped up here, then that takes you to that little portal, but I didn't actually realize it. But that um, walkway, I, oh shit, yeah, <laughs> I fell. But that walkway actually tapers off and goes downhill. And whenever I was first playing this, I didn't actually know that. Because I just got up here and didn't see it tapering off downwards and I would just keep going over there and it would be like an infinite loop where I wouldn't know where I was going. So yeah. Um, with hindsight, I think it, it is disorientating but it actually kind of adds to uh, the adventure side of the game. And it makes you explore the game uh, a little bit more. I'm going to show you a little, uh, this is what I would call like a battlefield ledge. When I was playing Battlefield 2, there were, there were all these little uh, ledges of buildings that you could kind of jump up onto, and then that would be how you would get to a different part, um, if, especially if you were sniping. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool how this is in Turok, these little uh, secret bits, because it's almost like training for whenever we're older and we're playing uh, <laughs> online uh, first person shooter games. And yeah, whenever you, whenever you do this in Battlefield, you get up to the best sniper positions and stuff. So that's kind of what it reminds me of that little bit. Um, so let's just keep on going. The funny thing is, uh, on this level, um, I didn't actually really play a whole lot of this level when I was a kid because at the start of it, it actually. Um, when, but you don't actually have to do this level to play level 3, but you would have to do it to unlock level 4. So um, right here, I'm going over to going over the water to get to the next part. The first key in this level is up there and the way we get to it is actually by swimming. There's a little cave here, like this little hidden cave that's pretty hard to see. And I don't know if I mentioned it in the first video but to, swimming is actually faster if you just pr do long presses rather than just holding the button down. You do like a big stroke and uh, if you can get it um, you can sort of time it right, you can, you can make it quite fast. So, yeah, and I mean, if I was a kid, I was like, after completing level one and getting all the keys, you unlock level three. So I was like, why play level two when I can already play level three? And um, there's something really childish about that that's like, you know, I remember I was playing with uh, my nephews once. I think it was actually like Tony Hawks or something. Oh, I can actually get this guy to to fight. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can get him. Yeah, he's he's been shot in the back and uh, the dinosaurs have bitten him, so 
Yeah, that's a pretty cool little... Wow. It's pretty cool how you can use the enemies to... Uh, to help you, really. Um, I don't know if the dinosaurs... Let's see who would want to fight out two dinosaurs and this big guy. He seems to be kicking ass. Yeah, he won. But it made it much easier for me to kill him. So yeah, this is one of the first games that um, let you do that, that I can remember. Um, I know there were other ones, I can't remember if it was like Doom or Quake or which one, but this is the one game that I would have used that technique a lot in. Um, there's a guy over here at the save point I'm just going to take out. That guy's got like a pulse rifle and it can be quite devastating so I'm just going to take him out from the side. That's a little save to him but I'm not going to use that because I just don't need to. Um, but yeah, I, I think I got sidetracked there but I was saying that when I was playing um, some games with my uh, nephews like Tony Hawk's they were like, oh, uh, let, get me on the Linux level, get me on the Linux level. And I was like, but why can't you just enjoy the level you're on sort of thing? Like, I never understood that. But, um, you know, looking back at my childhood, I did the exact same thing when I was a kid. I just always wanted to get onto that next level. So I pretty much just skipped this level um, when I was playing through. Oh, shit, I've just fallen. I kind of got fallen off that bit. Oh, well. Um, then my, the checkpoint was quite close, so I don't really mind losing the life. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I did the same when I was a kid, and, and for that reason, I've had to actually pretty much relearn this whole level. Um, over there is a cave that doesn't really lead to much. But when I was a kid, I, I would legitimately play. Whoa, that guy kicked my ass! I would legitimately play up until about level um, three, and then I would just cheat to get the rest of the codes and stuff so I didn't really spend a lot of time finding all the codes and stuff I got or all the keys I mean and another thing I'm gonna oh shit this guy is really hard to kill as well yeah another thing I didn't get was um, there's a there's a special weapon in Chirok called like the chronosphere or something and I've heard you pretty much need to to get it to beat the final boss um, I would have just cheated and got that weapon, but in this playthrough I'm going to legitimately get all the keys and get all the weapon pieces. So, I'm going to use a little trick here that I found out. If you press that button, you get a portal which takes you into a hidden part of the level. And that allows me to get this little uh, slow motion mode. And it just helps me kill the rest of these enemies. There's like another dinosaur and a couple other guys. So, kill him. And there's no fall damage, so I can just jump um, right down here. I mean, I can't imagine what it would have been like to jump down here without the fog, because the fog has been reduced quite a lot in this enhanced version. So that's the Chrono Scepter piece. Um, where did I go now? So, yeah, I dropped down here. I think there's another checkpoint somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I've got some more tech posts. Which I could do with using up actually because uh, my tech posts are actually full right now. So, Oh, the, the dinosaurs are having a fight with a little beetle. <laughs> yeah, that happens quite spontaneously actually. Um, let's see. Oh, more explosive. I'm going to try and just get past this guy and not kill him because those guys are just bullet sponges pretty much. And here we have another key which is a hidden key, it's across there and when I f played this through a couple of days ago I was like how do I get over there and then I realised there's, whoa there's a tree, like what's up with that so you just drop down and yeah you get in this new cave and this cave's actually, it seems to be off the map because yeah I've pulled up my map here and because it's a hidden one it doesn't show up but it's not really too hard to navigate anyway so that's fine. Oh. And you can see I'm kind of swaying side to side, and there's like this little bit of head bob in Chirok, which some people kind of find disorientating, but um, if you've got the Steam version of this, they've already uploaded a patch, like they uploaded a patch a couple of days after it came out, which uh, improved that, and uh, you don't need to, you know, you can turn the head bob off, but that is actually uh, an original thing that was in the original game. Um, it's probably just a little bit more pronounced now that it's widescreen and stuff. 
but I don't actually mind the head bob. I think it's fine. It kind of makes it feel like you're sliding around the place. This is another save point which I don't want to use. Um, there's uh, these like rocks. <laughs> yeah, these rocks fall on these guys, and you can actually see them up in the distance, and um, see them falling. I don't know if you like maybe you played the original version. I don't think you would have been able to see those rocks, which is pretty cool. Um, but now that we, now that we have the ability to see a little further without the fog, you can actually see these kind of things. Oh, and this is the first trap in the game, and we get lots of these in the the third level. So if I walk forward. You can jump over it and it kind of, yeah, it's a little trap. So, um, you need to watch out for them if you're playing this. They're all over the place in level 3. That's I think that's the only one on this level, though. And I'm going up to this, like, plateau up here, and I'm going to get uh, some I'm gonna get some bullets. So that's why I'm using up this assault rifle. But I'm also going to get uh, the first auto shotgun in the game. And the reason... That it's the first. It actually shouldn't be. There's there in the original Chirok there was an auto shotgun in the first level, but um, they took it out and they seem to have only included it in this level. So it's a little secret though. So you have to press this um, button. This little area opens up and we get the auto shotgun. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to use it just um, yet though because I need to keep my shotgun ammo. And I'll explain why a little bit later. Um, I like this little cool bridge here as well. Damn, my ass kicked. And let's see if I can just escape by this guy. So, uh, this cave is absolutely filled with these little guys, and um, there is a minigun in this cave, but originally um, you couldn't have accessed this minigun unless you got the grenade launcher. Um, but in this version of the game, you can actually get the minigun using an explosive round from either a tech bow or a um, explosive shotgun round. So I've been keeping my explosive shotgun rounds in this level for that reason, because I want the minigun. Um, so let's see, it's just in this corner here. So let me just kill this guy, and if I get my old shotgun out with the explosive, uh, explosive shells, it blows up that. And I have a secret. I probably get an extra life actually with all these. Um... Yeah, there he is. He's Chirok. Um, and there's the minigun. So this gun is really cool. Um, but if I was uh, playing the original, I would have had to have backtracked to get that. But in this version, I actually let you get it now. So that's cool. That... Um, I guess it just means that you don't have to backtrack, which is um, nice because people. It's like a huge complaint with like games like Resident Evil and stuff, people having to backtrack and they don't like doing that. I personally don't mind it too much, but I mean I don't mind the fact that they've modernised it a little bit. And uh, another people were complaining about the, the reflection in the, the water makes it harder to see things. Um, you can turn that off as well, but um, I can see their point because right now I'm like, where do I go now? There's actually um, a, a huge part where you can swim down here, but you couldn't really see it because of the reflections, but I actually I like keeping them on because it just it's kind of improving the graphics and stuff. And I knew where this um, was anyway, so yeah. So I'm mean, I'm swimming with this, just kind of tap on the button. And it, if you actually do this when you're out of the water, but you're standing in water, it's actually a really quick way to move as well, because it's like a little bit slower when you're doing this. Oh, it's not doing it as much now. Oh no, it didn't. It's not doing it now. It was doing it to me earlier for some reason. Um, but I'm pretty much coming up to the end of this um, level. I've just got this guy to... Oh shit, hit me. I'm just going to jump past him actually because I don't really need to fight him. I don't know, I just kind of avoid those big guys because they're just bullet sponges. Um, I'm going to get the last key which is right over here and if you didn't get any of the secret keys this is the only key you would have got in this level um, because whenever I first went back and played this 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 was the only key I got and then I had to do a little bit of exploring and try and find the other keys and that's what I really like about Chirok is that um, yes these levels are a little disorientating but they're also um, 
uh, yeah, it's also it makes it feel more like an adventure game. So I'm gonna just put some of these keys in, yeah, into their slots. Um, I don't have enough to get onto the next level just yet, um, so I have to, yeah, I have to do level three next. So the next level is one of my absolute favourites. It's the ancient city, and I know it's going to be a good one. So to watch that once it's available, click the video to the left. I plan on spending a lot of time doing some kind of graphical comparison on this and talking about just my general thoughts of the whole game and the remake in general. But once that video becomes available, I'll leave a little annotation on the video to the right. So uh, make sure you check that video out because I'm going to put a lot of time into it and hopefully answer a lot of questions about this uh, enhanced version of the game. So thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe so you don't miss uh, the next video.